tells you you can connect ideas in Obsidian, but nobody gives you an actual real-world example. It's always like, here's Node A and here's Node B, and look, you can connect them, and voila, there you have it. But how would you use this in your day-to-day note-taking and your day-to-day work? I was actually doing this today. It came up with uh, a cool connection between two notes I took a year apart, and then I decided to pause, and rather than working through the note connection myself, I wanted to do it live with you guys. So you have a real life example on how you would do this in your own work. So this video is gonna be a little bit all over the place, very off the cuff, uncuff, unscripted, going through linking two notes in Obsidian, but come along for the ride, let's see how it goes. So, um, I was in my large mega graph view here, which I find absolutely to be the best way to connect disparate ideas and to just spark things in your head. So I found this note. I wrote this a year ago. It's called The Perfect Business. Now, the reason this sparked in my mind is I just listened to a podcast uh, two days ago where somebody talked about their definition of a perfect business. Uh, and then I jumped into my graph view and I, lo and behold, I already have a note called The Perfect Business. So why wouldn't I try to blend those two ideas together and see where it takes me? So if I look at this note, um, it's connected with... Uh, well, it's connected with the podcast that I just listened to because I just did that right before I hit record here. Connected with Warren Buffett, connected with, um, uh, what else? Charlie Munger with running a business uh, and with one other note, Alex Ramosi. So let's uh, let's click into this, enough foreplay. I have it open here. So this is the note I took uh, on April 4th, 2022. So as you can see, back in the day, I used to be a lot more diligent with created on this date, edited, when did I edit it? Who's it by? What's the hashtag? Uh, I'm a lot more freeform with things now, but hey, you know, past self was kind to me here. Um, so this idea is from Alex Ramosi, um, and he advises to sell a product that is unique, expensive, sticky, and air. Um, and kind of a more tangible way to, to put that in a sentence is sell something that costs a penny, that you can sell for a dollar, and that's habit forming. Um, and then some principles on how to manage this perfect business. Now, um, to find other ideas it's connected to, um, I went off of memory, but uh, a better way would be to go into your Obsidian search and type in the phrase you're looking for here. So I typed in perfect business um, with uh, these quotation marks so it shows up as a phrase. And you can see here that um, obviously this idea hadn't made an impression on me because I wrote a Twitter thread called 100 followers, 100 lessons, and I wrote about the perfect business and I quoted this exact quote from Alex Ramosi in that thread. And I have this showing up in two different notes. I duplicated it for some reason. Then I recently took an omnivore uh, read it later highlight from this podcast um, where the podcast guest talks about their definition of a perfect business. Uh, and this is just a reference to this note. So if we jump into this, um, see I tagged um, the relevant highlight with the words, the perfect business. Um, so this person, the, the guest on this podcast, who I think is uh, Jeremy Giffen, I might uh, have butchered that name. They say that uh, the perfect business for me is getting paid a tremendous amount of money for your words, uh, for your words, just your advice. Um, so this gives us two different ideas of a perfect business. I think Alex Ramosi's um, centers more on um, a product like a physical product, um, whereas uh, Giffen's idea is more around n knowledge, like selling knowledge versus selling a product. Your knowledge becomes a product. Um, or your, yeah, actually not even your knowledge, your advice becomes a product. So this gives me an idea on how I should connect these two notes. So if I go back here, this note actually shouldn't be called the perfect business. I want to call this Alex or Mosey's perfect business because this is his idea uh, now I want to test something here if I go back into this note ah, yeah there you go you can see that my hyperlink changed which is great now what I actually want to do is create a new note and call this the perfect business and this is going to be my own idea or my connection between the notes so I'll say um, two different views uh, hashtag Alex Hermosi. 
um, let's call it product based. And then I'm going to check his name uh, afterwards. But let's say it's Jimmy Giffen. Actually, I don't even need to check it afterwards. Let's use the power of my notes here. So let's go here and let's just read the original of this. What is this gentleman's name here? Jeremy Giffen. There you go. Let's grab it here. Last thing you want to do is start writing this note and then uh, have to redo it. Okay. So let's grab him. There we go. So he talks about his perfect business being advice based. Cool. And what we probably want to do is find that note. Now let's suppose he's perfect business. And here his note is going to be actually titled uh, special situations in the market. And what we want to do is do kind of like a block reference, like an embed. Uh, and then just go directly to that note that is of importance here. There we go. So there's the quote from Alex Amosi, something that costs a penny, and it, it's right in line in this in this new note that I've created. And down here for Jeremy's, we're gonna create a block reference uh, to the block that we care about here. There we go. So here we go, two different views, and we literally have a block reference to both that links back to the, the full articles. Uh, so if you click in here, it goes back to Alex Moses' article, click in here, it takes you back to Jeremy's uh, podcast transcript. So um, what do we glean from this, right? Like what ideas triggered my head? So we can go down here and say um, more research. Right, like where would I want to explore this idea further? So when I think about like generalizations of you know two concepts, Plato comes to mind and kind of the Platonic ideal. Like what is the what, you know what is the Platonic ideal of a business, or what is a Platonic ideal to begin with? Um, that that's where my that's where my mind goes here. So if I look in my notes, do I reference Plato anywhere? I'm really curious. Uh, Plato's Republic comes across in this newsletter. Uh, this is a business idea I, I aborted. Uh, another topic, uh, another kind of reference here. So nothing crazy. Um, let's go here. Let's jump into uh, Platonic ideal definition. Let's have let's have Google help us out here. Um, theory of forms. And if I look up Platonic ideal, what do we get? Platonic idealism. The set of asserting that most fundamentally reality is equivalent to mind, spirit, consciousness. Oh, this is a deep dive. I don't want to do this with you guys right here. Can I have Platonic ideal explain like I'm five from Reddit? What is Platonic idealism? There we go. According to Plato, there's the world of ideas, abstract, and the world of shadows of those ideas, concrete. So imagine there is a perfect chair in the world of ideas. When I think of a chair, or you think of a chair, they will both resemble the perfect chairness, but we can't grasp that perfect chair. Plato's most famous metaphor was this one. A group of people are living in a cave, hands and feet bound, facing the wall. They see the shadows of the outside world on the wall. And that's their only reality. If one of those people were to escape, go outside, he would see the real abstract world of ideas, which is perfect. But if we were to go back to tell his com comrades that they, would come, they should come outside with him because they don't know the real world, they would not believe him. Okay, so that gives me kind of a very high level grasp of this, right? So, um, you know, kind of like we all instinctively no, there should be a perfect business model, but experts' views on what exactly that is very infinitely. This is this is there we go. Now I kind of have a my own idea here. 
So, um, this is this is this is really the crux of my idea. So let's pop it in here, and I want to turn this into kind of like a block, right? An idea block. So if I do info, does that turn it into a block? How do I turn this into a block? I'll figure it out, guys. Maybe a little exclamation point. No, exclamation point. Okay, so now we need to go to Obsidian um, Callouts. That's what we're looking for here. And what's the syntax? So their space hashtag info. I think that's what we're looking for here. There we go. And instead of info, is there is there an idea one? There we go, idea. So here's my idea, the perfect business. We all instinctively know there should be a perfect business model, but experts' views, experts' views on what that exactly is vary infinitely. Two, and this would be two views I've recently come up. And here we go, Alex Demolde's product based view, Jeremy Giffen's advice based view. So if I wanted to, I could actually write an article on this, could you know, write a paper, blog post, Twitter thread. This is really, you know, connecting two disperse ideas, one from Alex Demolde, one from Jeremy Giffen, and something from the deep, you know, recesses of my mind about platonic idealism, and then just creating a unique, a unique thought. From, uh, from thin air, it feels like. That's the power of Obsidian to me. Hope you found this video helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. We'll see you next time. Peace.